when we're out here and we're all set up now we set up right on the edge of this bedding area and hopefully one comes out early enough that we can get a shot for you guys if the wind switches on us we are going to try to sneak a little bit closer to the bedding area Well, the wind evidently did switch on us, so we did move spots. We're still on the edge of the bedding area, but this time we're overlooking, um, we're on the top of a ridge. Hopefully one comes out and we can get one for you guys. Matt. Alright guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about the area I that uh, we scouted. So on this piece of public land, there's a dirt trail leading in right here. And then it goes to a pull-off spot, and then there's a little, little gate right there. And um, that gate has been closed for a couple years, and the, the trail extends all the way back here about a mile and a half. To some private land and um, over here there's a couple of clear-cut fields that are have uh, grown up really thick and there's a lot of oak trees around them there's some high ridges coming down off of these fields and there's a really thick swamp right over here with uh, deer trails coming out and that swamp it's really hard to get into because of how thick it is and it's really muddy and um, we were set up right here between these two ridges and we were hoping the deer would come out of this trail right here next to us but they went around us probably over here to these um, other ridges where the acorns are at and then over here there's also some other ponds that are really um, brushy around them. And that's also a really good spot for deer right there. We have set up there a couple of times. But the DNR came in and did something really unex unexpected this year. On the opener day for bow season, they opened this gate. So people could just pull in and they could park anywhere along this trail and walk in right here to any of these good spots. So instead of walking a mile and a half back to get in, they could just drive and pull off anywhere along here. So that pressured this a lot through here and over here. And that was um, part of our struggle with getting a deer. But um, we still had fun doing it. It was a great time. We got a doe to come in close as you guys saw. And we had a lot of fun. So that is a little bit about the area we scouted.
Well, we've been working really hard on public land, but we just can't get a deer to come in close. So we switched back to this property that I shot um, that spike on earlier in gun season, and hopefully we can get a deer on this. We just hunted this morning, as you guys saw. We saw one buck that uh, spooked, and then we'll, um, we're leaving right now to take a break. We'll come back later in the afternoon, and hopefully we can get one then. Well, we got out here to clean the blind out, and we saw a spike buck running some does around, so hopefully that's a sign of good things to come. We will be hunting at this spot on private land because that spot on public gets pressured a lot during gun season. And I hope you guys can enjoy, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.